is a Daily Show correspondent whose new Comedy Central special is Jordan Klepper Solves Guns. I'm entering a war zone. I'm going to embed in a country with over 300 million guns. A country where in 2014, 33,000 people died due to gun violence. A country whose citizens are 25 times more likely to be murdered by a gun than any other civilized nation. Welcome to America. You overshot it. Back up, back, 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 back. Good? The country I'm talking about is America. Please welcome Jordan Klepper. Hey, I'm gonna stay up here because you're so tough. I'll do that. Nice to see you. Good to see you. How you been? I've been I've been well. You? Uh, I'm all right. I'm oh, all, right. all right. Keep on keeping on. Well, I think that's what you got to do. Well, you have got uh, you got a tough gig, correspondent for the Daily Show. Ooh, I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. No, no. <laughs> it is it is a it is a career dead end. It is, is what right? it is. Yeah, you just stop. Just get. But now you're getting out of there. Mm -hmm. You're shaking the dust of that place, uh, and you're going to get like this right. You're getting the slot on Comedy Central at 11:30. After the day, after the Daily Show, yeah, right? The Jordan Klepper slot. Jordan Klepper slot. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what it's. That's what. That's it's a tough road to hoe, right there. Yeah. They call that dead man's curve. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's haunted, you know. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you uh, every we, we had Hassan Minaj on here yeah. last night, and he uh, every correspondent has a nightmare story sure. of of the field piece you get sent out because you get sent out with an idea and and. You've got to bring the story back, and sometimes you've got to uh, talk to people who you would normally spend time with. Yeah, you yeah. got to go out into a world that you might not normally be a part of. Yeah, I, I, I went to a lot of Trump rallies uh, over this past election cycle. Yeah, uh, fast Trump, Donald Trump, he became the president. Um, <laughs> but I would talk to a lot of the people at the rallies, uh, and actually, it was fascinating to go over the course of that year. They they shifted. I mean. I would say right off the bat, uh, they felt like campaign rallies, a little bit more uh, zhuzh going on. But I would say things like the, uh, I would ask something about, let's say, uh, was Barack Obama a Muslim? And right off the bat, I would say one out of 10 people would cop to something like that. Near the end, that was so normalized, that was probably a seven out of 10. And uh, the idea of uh, some sort of fake news conspiracy going on was prevalent everywhere. And we were the fake news. I mean, they were right about us. <laughs> So I got part, it. You're part of the problem. Part of the problem. Yeah. We found ourselves uh, interviewing people at one of the last Trump rallies we were at. Uh, there was a group hanging out behind the cameraman, uh, and they were, they were snickering. And I was like, what's going on? What's going on? And the cameraman says, uh, they're looking at the battery pack, and across the battery pack it says LVC, which is the name of the rental company. And they said it's the name of a sect of the FBI, and we're working for Hillary Clinton. And that was, that was just the general vibe by the wow. end. It was like, everything out here, it, it's not as it seems anymore. Everything is an attack on uh, what they hold dear. Mm -hmm. You're from Michigan, right? Kalamazoo. <laughs> we like to have a few people from the hometown of every guest. Yes, I appreciate that. Yeah, we had some people from Nairn earlier. <laughs> What? It's a funny sounding town, Kalamazoo. Mm -hmm. it would you, would, what got you into comedy? Was it because your town itself was funny? What, <laughs> what, what, what inspired you? Yeah, actually, the motto of Kalamazoo is yes, there really is a Kalamazoo. It's all, You're it's kidding. All, no, that's literally on all of the t shirts. Wow. So it's defensive wow. right off the bat. That is self loathing <laughs> yes. at a level that I haven't seen in a town. <laughs> like Welcome from... to Cleveland. No, wait. <laughs> Let me finish. Uh, Jordan Klepper solves guns. Do you solve guns? I come real close to solving guns. Oh, damn it. I know, right? Damn it. I'm hoping for that sequel. That's what I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm begging for. Where did you, when you went out there talking with people on both sides of the gun debate? Both I sides said? of the gun debate. Yeah, I mean, was is, it, is yeah. there reason for hope? Because it is a terrible situation. I think that really, honestly, in one of the benefits of The Daily Show, you go out, you get to talk to a lot of people. Uh, I did a bunch of pieces on guns, and I was shocked at how many people really did share a common point of view, and there was common ground on basic stuff that has been overly politicized, on background checks, on funding, things like that. 
people did share the same point of view. It got really partisan, it got really wide, and so I thought with this special, let's talk to people who are in the middle. And most people are in the middle. And that's, I went back to my hometown, Michigan, because that's pretty much in the middle as well. And It's literally in the middle. It is literally right there. It's called <laughs> the Midwest, but it's, mm -hmm. it's no, it, I, you take away the West and it's basically middle. <laughs> but there are, the, there are a lot of good people who are, who are working uh, against the political machine to try to make a difference. And I think that was the, if I didn't solve it, I at least felt better that there are people out there who are trying. All right, we'll get them next time. Thanks. We'll get them next time. <laughs> Jordan, good to see you. Jordan Klepper Solves Guns is on Comedy Central June 11th. Jordan Klepper, everybody. We'll be right back.